Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It is September 17th, 2022. It's been a very slow year for main crops. We're finally getting our first main crop to ripen without a head start. Uh, we had a really cold, wet spring that set us back about two and a half to three weeks. So this is Sao Miguel Rocho. This was an air layer that I purchased in 2019. It's in a 15 gallon pot. Really a beautiful tree. Nice shape. Open center. Very productive variety. Lots of figs, smaller figs. And I've been told by others that this is one of the later Mount Etna varieties, and I found that to be true as well. This year I have quite a few figs. When will they ripen is the question. I wanna compare that to one of my favorites, the fig that I rated as my number one fig for all of last year, when you take into account the productivity and the flavor of the figs. This is Red Lebanese Bacaw Valley. Started the same year, 2019 from a cutting. It's in a 15 gallon as well. Also has a really beautiful shape. But here's the difference between the two varieties that I've seen. I saw the same thing last year. So you've got figs that are probably almost twice the size after they swell. You've got figs that are coloring. Quite a few coming on at the same time. It's going to be a good period for harvest here in a few days. Now this is my first main crop fig of the season and it's been hanging for around seven days. I just wanted to let it hang so that uh, I could get that bag of jelly thing going on and that's what I've got. Nice, nice tight eye. It's it's hard, ready to harvest. I'm gonna pick this one tomorrow. We've got an informal tasting tomorrow with other folks that have actually had a few main crop as well. But as you get in there, you just look at the, the figs. So back to the comparison of Sao Miguel Ro Rocho with Red Lebanese Bacaw Valley. So, Sao Miguel is also called Azores Dark. And the story behind it is that someone either sold it or gifted it to a person that grew it out and that absolutely loved it. And I don't doubt that they loved it. It's a small fig and it was grown in a humid climate and these small figs do really well. It's about Etna, relatively early as well. But there was only one person growing it, so it became highly sought after. Then finally, it surfaced that it was the same as Sao Miguel Rocho, that the name was simply changed by the seller as he sold it to this person. What do I think of the figs in comparison? If you're in a hot, humid place, this is a good one to grow. It's gonna be uh, really prolific, and, and it's a Mount Etna, they're all delicious. But if you want a bigger fig that is earlier, which for me, the size of the fig and the earliness of the fig is hugely important in Oregon. Go with Red Lebanese Bacaw Valley. It's far superior in my, in my book. Uh, once again, if either of these are properly ripened, they're going to be delicious. They will naturally dry on the tree. Like all figs, they will dry on the tree if they're in a Mediterranean type climate. And you can let them hang and you can let them get like this. If you can let a fig get like this without a bunch of ants, without a bunch of mold, where it becomes a bag of jelly, it's gonna concentrate the flavors. The size of the fig will be smaller. If I was to harvest one of these figs, and these are close to being ready, 
the weight would be much greater because there's a lot more moisture in the fig. So that's my comparison of the two Mount Etnas. I've also have uh, BI39 growing. <laughs> and it's a young tree with one fig on it. The fig is huge, so I'm not sure that's really representative of the fig. I'm going to be tasting that one soon. And uh, hopefully we'll have a few tasting videos coming up. You know, my figs are basically being grown with no head start. So this year, I'm not going to be getting any lates, unfortunately. Hope you enjoyed this comparison of these two Mount Etna varieties. Hope you found it uh, worthwhile. If you uh, feel like giving thumbs up or subscribing, I would appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. This is Chris.